what's up guys note investor here want to just give a quick update out on the markets in light of the volatility and some of the critical juncture we're in right now I'm gonna keep you guys posted a little more frequently in the in this week or so um, I've been a little more active a couple videos already newsletter twice so a little active on the Twitter this week just trying to keep you guys in the loop here but the big story here of course was ethereum this week so I just want to see where are we have we bounced if we so did we hit resistance what is the deal so as you can see and you are well aware we put in this very good double bottom here a couple of days back huge volume came in very positive sign very bullish however we still have not broken this descending trend and you can see where it hit today yesterday depending on when you're looking at this video we bounced right to it that corresponded with like the 320 330 area around there depending on the exchange but not quite broken that trend yet um, holding above the moving average here which is good so I expected a bounce and a pullback right after that uh, resistance we saw that and it uh, looks like we're on the way up again but um, you know I'm just being cautious here I guess is the way to say it let's zoom in a little bit on the four hour chart, you can see right where we hit that. You know, again, that was in the 320 here. This is the uh, USDT on the Poloniex exchange. So, uh, another good positive sign is we had this big reversal bar, but big volume, and they pushed it all the way back up. So, a lot of that really was support, not a lot of sellers. So, uh, we're just kind of at this critical juncture right now. What you don't want to see is another big pullback. Um, because coming off of this resistance that pullback could end up in some pretty fast heavy selling here quickly so we don't want to see that so we definitely want to see this uh excuse me we want to see this level of resistance broken here in the near term that'll confirm that that was probably the low for the near term um, there's a couple of ways to look at resistance when you're looking at this i like looking at the trend resistance during these type of markets uh, but you can also look at some horizontal resistance. One that's real clear right now is this horizontal resistance right around 330-ish or so. Um, the next big one's going to be right up here in the 360, 370 range. So, you know, those are just going to be hurdles that Ethereum has to climb uh, on the way up. But I think if we can break this trend resistance that's happening right now, this uh, let me change the color for you guys to see it a little easier that's going to be a very positive sign and you know we'll just have to work our way up here best case scenario right we break this trend resistance and just kind of base out a little bit right here it'd be really healthy for the market to just sit tight for a little bit and put in some more floor and if you will so we'll see i i i can see that happening here especially with you know with bitcoin and segwit and all that happening maybe we just take a pause for a little bit but uh Worst case scenario, right, is we, we bounce into this resistance and then we just start heading back down. We definitely don't want to see that. Um, I'm feeling a little bit better after this little shakeout we saw, but I don't want to declare victory until we see this trend resistance broken. Uh, certainly, you can be a little bit more aggressive, and some of you, I know we're buying down these lows, and you could be buying here on this pullback. Uh, that's a good entry here with it bouncing. It was It's normal, and I expected it to bounce here um, right where it's at now. And so this might be a good little entry point if you believe that we're going higher from here. So let's look at Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is doing something real similar. So you can see there's a little bit of a downtrend starting to form on Bitcoin. And we're going to want to see that broken as well. Now, Bitcoin didn't see the lows undercut the prior lows, which is a good sign. So what's happening now is we're creating this kind of really large, longer term wedge, which uh, it's almost more like an ascending triangle. And so that's real interesting to see it on, on a larger scale. Let me zoom out a little bit for you guys to see this. So on the daily charts, you can see this bigger wedge that's starting to form. So uh, maybe Bitcoin bounces around here, but and that's gonna end up taking us to, you know, early to mid July. Um, and so we'll see if we can bust out of that descending trend before the SegWit activation happens. So, you know, some uh, big moves potentially in the works here again just like ethereum i mean this one's holding up very well undercut had this double low holding this moving average for now really tightening up here you're going to want to see it bust out above and uh, start working its way up again we're not going to want to see this drop below this 
uh, blue ascending line. That would certainly not bode well for the markets. So quick update on Bitcoin and Ethereum. Just want to keep you guys posted. Let you know what I'm seeing right now. I'm uh, cautiously optimistic. Um, see, let me see what else is going on here. Everything down was pretty much just sitting around today. Up, down, up, down. Not a real huge move. Mostly on the red, but you know that's just because of the little slight pullback after the big bounce. Uh, completely normal price action there. One thing I do want to point out, and if you've been following me and keeping in the loop, you probably already know what it is. Nope. It's not Litecoin. Let me go over here real quick. That's right. It's AntShares. Now, AntShares is rebranding, so uh, do your best to get over the silly name. <laughs> you know, that's actually a positive. It's keeping people away from AntShares because they, they look at the name and they're just like, what a goofy name. It's going to Neo. But look at this. We broke this downtrend. Super strong rally following the bottom. I'm kind of expecting a little bit of a pullback here, but this thing has just been really strong. Um, I put a blog post out about this a couple of days ago. I think it was at $7 when I did. I first noted it on the Twitter when it was at 5 something. So keeping you guys in the loop here, um, it's been up, uh, well, I think we're over 100% now. Yeah, we're definitely over 100% since the bottom. Um, since I first started picking it up was right when this downtrend broke. So has been a very nice, decent trade for now. I like the potential. I like the project. I think they have some things in the work. Uh, may turn out to be a big one. So just uh, put it on your radar if you're not in it. It's a little extended. It's had a nice rally. I mean, this thing is super strong. Could keep going. But, you know, it would not be surprising to see a little bit of a pullback here if we zoom out a little bit to uh, more of a four-hour chart. Um, you know, maybe a little pullback to this 10 period moving average or even the, the longer term one and then head back up again. So something to look out for. Nevertheless, AntShare is super strong. Uh, my top choices right now are probably Litecoin and then AntShares um, as a higher potential, obviously higher risk, but um, so far working out. Quick update, guys. Keep you guys posted. Until next time, take care.